There has been a lot of talk about hydrogen internal combustion engines lately or hydrogen eyes in short. Hydrogen engines bring with them the disadvantages of hydrogen storage and none of the efficiency benefits of an electric drive train. Why is it then that we are witnessing a surge in development of hydrogen internal combustion engines? This is the topic that we will explore in this video. In recent years, there has been a lot of debate on fuel cell vehicles or FCV in short versus battery electric vehicles or BV in short. Each has its own benefits. If battery cars can boast low vehicle and operational cost, then fuel cell cars can flex on durability and low fueling time. And with the price of FCEVs dropping and the efficiency of the system improving, slowly but surely, fuel cell vehicles were gaining more relevance. But just then, hydrogen internal combustion engine's car parachuted out of nowhere into the mainstream discourse. There are two main reasons for this. First is the massive improvement in hydrogen storage technology. Hydrogen tanks are safer and cheaper thanks to the use of modern materials. So in a way, hydrogen ice drivetrain has benefited from the advancement in FCEVs because the same well-proven 700 bar compressed gas tanks can be used for both technologies. The second reason is the risk mitigation that hydrogen ice technology provides. This point needs a deeper explanation. At present, there is looming uncertainty in the transport and logistics sector. Many countries have pledged to ban diesel engines by the year 2040 and sub by the year 2030. In the business of supply chain management, which operates on tight margin, Risk aversion is the main modus operandi. Goods transport companies cannot wait or hedge their bets on technology of the future. They have to keep the lorries running. At present, battery electric lorries deliver less payload because of the high weight of the batteries on board. They also have longer non-operational time because of the lengthy duration of charging. FCEVs, on the other hand, are costly but this is not the reason that logistic companies have become less interested in them. In fact, the price of FCEVs has dropped significantly. Just over a decade ago, they were prohibitively expensive. They now cost around two to three times the comparable fossil fuel vehicle. The Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo are two examples of this. These vehicles cost 50000 and 65,000 US dollars respectively. With the economy of scales, the price of fuel cell vehicles in the future is likely to get close to the current conventional diesel and petrol vehicle. But there is one issue that plagues the FCEVs and it is called fuel cell poisoning. The poisoning of the fuel cell happens because of impurities both in the fuel and air. This means that high purity hydrogen is needed for fuel cell vehicles which increases the cost of hydrogen as a fuel. Furthermore, it makes FCEVs sensitive to dusty environments. And this is where hydrogen ice gains an upper hand. It is sturdy. There are a few differences that distinguish engines that are designed to use hydrogen compared to the ones that use diesel. These differences include hardened valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, non-platinum tipped spark plugs, a higher voltage ignition coil, and fuel injectors designed for gas instead of liquid. In the above listed differences, everything has been developed and tested, meaning hydrogen engines are already here, and this is why logistic companies are interested in them. Let's explore the cost of each of these drivetrains. The H2 ICE engine would cost nearly 50% more than an equivalent size diesel engine. On the other hand, an H2 FCEV truck would cost double that, while a battery electric vehicle with the same 500 mile range would cost roughly 120% more than a diesel. But what about the running costs? Well, they depend upon the efficiency. A battery powered truck delivers an average tank to wheel efficiency of 75 to 85%. Hydrogen fuel cell trucks achieve just 50% and hydrogen combustion engines are as low as 40 to 45 percent similar to diesel. The running cost of electric lorries thus is the lowest. They consume around 1.8 
kilowatt hour per mile. If electricity price of 32 cents per kilowatt hour is assumed, then it costs around 39 cents per mile for a battery electric truck. Diesel lorries cost around 70 cents per mile. At present, hydrogen ice costs nearly 1.5 times to travel the same distance as compared to diesel. That is $1.05 per mile. So, even from an efficiency and in turn running cost point of view, hydrogen ice don't make sense. But freight companies would rather pay less upfront because of the lower price of the hydrogen engine, even if it costs them more money in the long run. And this is the main reason why hydrogen internal combustion engines have found interest particularly for freight haulage. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something new from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.